So I won't blame them because there are too many sounds so they'll forget. Because now yeah, just you the, way, the wait is, is like, I'm all, if you're not coming out every two seconds. Two, one second you know, safe. Like, I mean, people are asking me, so we haven't heard from you know, I said, I put a song in May and I've been busy. Like, so is it, so have you seen the one in me? You have to be constantly out See, there. No, I've not heard it. Okay, well, it's called Good Time. There's a music video as well. You can go check it out on YouTube. You can listen to it on streaming platforms. Like, so I say, wow, so you just saw that you're not following me on Instagram because I was posting constantly about that song for like two months. What if we are following you on Twitter, but you're blocked? <laughs> you blocked him. <laughs> have I blocked? No, I haven't blocked you. Yeah, I have. You have. Have I? In my, in, my, in my reviewing days. It was probably seduction. <laughs> seduction, oh, yeah, seduction. Yeah. yeah. We can fix that now, sir. Let me confess. So I found out recently that Don Jazzy blocked me. And Ooh. I think it was that. So I searched... You just debunked. Me? No. You, Don Jazzy blocked a lot of people who just debunked. No, I don't think I love this one. No, well, let me tell you that. Or me. No, I don't know. I've never had to say that. It's not scary. He knows what he said. I've never had anything sour, Dr. C. See, I've been listening since Don't Stop. I've never had anything sour, Dr. C. Yeah. So did I find out that Don Jazzy blocked me? I now wanted to figure out why. So you know you can oh, search. Wow. Okay, okay. No, uh, you the guy, you know. I'll block with you. Hey, <laughs> I apologize. I've been unblocked though. Ah. Is, no more slander. <laughs> oh wow. You you are you're wicked. You waited for us to be right here at this particular point in time. How can and we I've been seeing you for like two weeks. This guy it was it was the perfect How can second we get to unblock me. Eh? Cause my own is, After I watched it. When, when I searched after I watched when I searched it, my handle and Don Jazzy, and mm. I saw the things I tweeted about Don Jazzy, and I said to me that I say I tweeted how I don't understand how Don Jazzy made the Tongolo beats. Well, so I've been crazy, but I now saw one tweet that was probably that time of Dorobuchi. Mm. And you know how Doro then get the same Doro this, mm. Doro that. So I tweeted that somebody should tell Don Jazzy to shut the Doro fuck up. Oh yeah, I remember. I actually remember them telling me about that, but somebody who said that and he literally blocked you. So did he tell all of you to block me? No, no, no I didn't block you now. Okay. Yeah, but if you said that because that, I love the jazz because that time like that time we 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 follow things where we okay yeah so I'm not blocked I've unblocked you you unblocked me uh, yeah. so you tell him to unblock me uh, yeah, I'll tell him no I, actually to be honest after what's your Twitter handle the pyro preacher yeah, so after this Don Jazzy will unblock you I can guarantee it can okay I, Don Jazzy will unblock you unblock me too. Are you to <laughs> <laughs> this one I know why this one I know why this one was the Prince's album ah uh, which one. Uh, um, Frenzy. 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 You know, Frenzy was a fire album. But it was dope. It was a then, lot of music. Then, you yeah. know, then was a lot of things coming out. Yeah. And you know, then we didn't appreciate the Prince. Yeah, you know, yeah. To I be honest, we didn't appreciate the Prince. So, I think he's given us hits then. Well, but I need to say this. I need to, I need to say this here. Yeah. The Prince, and this is for camera, this is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Hell yeah. The Prince is actually one of the most talented and crazy people I've ever met in my life. And his work ethic in the studio is ridiculous. You see that Frenzy album? There are like 10 songs that did not make it. For real? And there were like 27 or so. It was a ridiculous <laughs> or some shit. It was like a ridiculous, obscene amount of songs in that album. Like the, the process of cutting down songs. Like, you know, just put it, just put it out. No, the Frenzy album was, ah, I mean, I had one song, I mean, uh, where I was. Yes, my, I, I that was one remember. of the fastest verses I've ever done in my life. I had to catch my. I don't even think I can do it again. Ah, well, you people shy. People, some, no, it was you know then reviewing was then was you know reviewing was then we're, we're not as sensitive and, and yes, we've grown and we've all yeah, grown. We've you, grown. See, you see that's the thing i think at that point in time and that's what used to hurt us the most which is why and one of the quickest ways is just to block this person let them not now nah, me i leave people to witness the greatness and uh, understand your folly later yeah. in life but then it was like, oh, more, this guy is just going hard. Just hit that block button. Just to be fair, you, you don't, don't want to see the bad energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. let me tell you what I what my, my issue at that time was you you are writing a review that is going to affect the opinion of, of the people. general public, affect my career and my money. Yeah. Now, I'm at the time seduction came out, I was about to get married. Yo. You give that thing a negative review, I'm not getting shows, I'm not getting books. Oh, damn. Because the music, you see, there's a... Where is Toy? Is she here? She's, she's, we're having this conversation. There are consequences to what you say. Now, and it's everybody's so quick to want to be the guy who just trash it and yeah, the that's most intellectual. To be honest, yeah. that's that's I don't think that... You see, before you review an album or something, take time, listen, you have to soak it in to, to review. 
you have to soak it in because I've given that's why I don't even a do lot of songs anymore. bad reviews on first listen. Like that's nah, why I don't man. do it anymore. Nah, man. Then um, after a while, just for yourself. Cause now nah, just about what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Is it? <laughs> is this, is this, <laughs> the whiskey syndrome? No, oh, yeah. The whiskey. Oh, this one is so whack. Next thing, yeah, we're here. Yeah, yeah singing Two Face had it at some point in time. Oh, it's Two Face song. But then you see. Because is it sometimes it just you know the soup it has to reach your belly before the flavor will hit yeah, your yeah, tongue yeah. you know so and at that time it used to pain it used to pain it used yeah, to pain well, it used to pain we ah it used to pain wow we don't know that, that we were just we had like, that argument and we call it about yeah. what well, well, rubbish now. I think is a pause a dismal if ah uh, I, I think that's me <laughs> but frankly uh, I never did anything over that way when uh, I used to review see the my reviews G, ended up on the Wikipedia the links. G, pause yeah. so not just okay ah. Hey my god, oh. let me tell you something. It's so funny, yeah. I don't know if you guys can do this when you're editing it. Yeah? I, I, I think it changed servers, it changed their sites. But if you go back and find the archive of the comments on that something about you, Winchy Winchy and Pop Ah, Center. Winchy Winchy, that's all. See, if you free the comments on that, isn't my career has moved on. <laughs> ah, you see, they roasted. Something about you that till today, some people come out and say that song I played on my wedding day. Pop Champagne till today is probably, without a doubt, one of my biggest songs. Yeah, definitely. That is my show closer. I don't care which that mm. song. It's a show closer any day, any time. You get. As, as, as I told you, I said, as I told Jazzy, I said, Jazzy, listen, yeah, if I don't get another hit for the rest of my life, you're yeah, good. I'm good, mm. man. Because I will go down in the history of Nigerian music. I don't care what you think. You get jams, Whether you man. think no, Dr. City is a celebrity, jams. whether I think he's big enough or he has achieved whatever, 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 whatever. My name will be written in the history books of Nigeria because we put in the work at the time and I'm proud and I'm honored to have those songs. Ah, well, I'm good. Now you want the bread, you wait, the brother, but, but the, the, the mic might still be the SRD. The jams day, you know, the jams day. So yeah. let's segue into that tribes man since we are Woo! okay tribes man let's do 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 and it sucked. So I went there, I was like, yo, what are you guys it. doing? So I, wanted I feel to, like, uh, what? I wanted to fix it. So I was like, you know, could you join? Funny enough, Rugged Man's sister was actually in that dance group as well. Ah, for real. Mm. Yeah. So it was like, I now fixed it down. I was like, ah, you maybe should join us. You used to pop and lock. And yeah, I do everything. In the video of Don't Stop, you were giving them... Bami Joe. Okay. Did you dance? You danced dance the Don't Stop them. video. Yeah. Don't Stop was a party. It was more of a party with just the dance. It was a house right. party kind of... Ah. I just had some flashbacks on everything. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing this. See, no, 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 if no, you don't quite, know, we will know. There were quite a few people in that video. That was a very interesting video shoot back in the day, yeah. <sighs> I can't say it again. It's okay. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry. Um, yeah, so I got into the dance group. We were like probably the biggest th entertainment group in, in UI at that point in time. And then Tribesmen came to do a show in... Ibadan, and we did backup for them, and then I linked up with LDKB and Freestyle, and they're like, oh, you, we like the way you move, can you come to Lagos, can you help us with our stage? So I was doing like stage manager slash choreographer for Tribesmen, and then I was going on tour with them, and then I was, I was in uni like a lot. You, you were not, I told you No, I went to University okay. of Ibadan, okay, medical, man. dental surgery, UI, but I was in uni like a lot, Uzulua, Uche, and one day when LD's BQ was me, San Sultan, Le Coucher, KB, LD, and they were now freestyling. All these big men, two, I think two shots was there too. They were now doing freestyle, 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 ah, or more. So I can't remember who it was, I think it was Le Coucher because it's a cheeky one. It was like, ah, you know, Ralph. Like, like, <laughs> like dancer, yeah. You know, Ralph, uh, dancer, you know. <laughs> And me, eh, because I've been hanging with all these rappers, I get one for 16 bar where I don't write for this day that they will come out. As you knew that day was coming. <laughs> the, the day that they are. Ah. And I'll drop this 16 bar verse. Sounds so sounds like, ah, I'm on this guy. No bad. No bad, though. You know, just, you know, if you keep practicing. So LD now called me and I said, you know what, would I like to transition to being an artist? And I was like, oh yeah. So they now did this song called Work It. 
which was the first yeah. the tribe song. It had Sasha, Dell, two shots. Dell, that's who we didn't talk about. Yeah, remember. two shots, LD. Ah, somebody else, there five of them on that track. And Timmy. Timmy All of us now one. came to the studio and I heard this song called Work It. And I said, eh? What rubbish! Five of you think you can just sit down and create something and forget the rest of us and be, oh yeah, let's do Work It Part 2. Everybody that was not on the first, the first one, one was will be on the that. second one. Guess what song the second one ended up being? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nobody agreed to say, look, oh, I was not, <laughs> I was on that first song. So is it like, Everybody all of us are doing this song together? <laughs> so I think, oh yeah, had 10 people. That song, that song changed, like that song changed, changed the, the whole game. Yeah, like our first that song changed five fine quotes. With the Charles Ayo Shonaya and R70 Media at that point in time, they came through with a brilliant idea for the video. It was this basketball? It was urban, it can be cranes, man. It can be cranes, man. I never seen cranes before. It can be cranes. You feel me? You guys was, have more. Sorry, let me just say that. You guys you know, actually saw the Nigerians that made video. us. Humility, no? Yep. DJ yeah, we need to go back and see that video. Was in that video. These people were no, some of the ones that made Sam started making Nigerians feel cool. Nah, no way. He was tired of part in that video. Yeah. Doesn't no fucking we way. Were yeah, 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 that that part. Humility. God damn, yeah. bro. People. DJ Z's was in that video. Only a couple of Yes, yes. yes. No. Standing behind freestyle during his verse. Not freestyle. Rugged man was in that video. I, I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Rugged, Rugged, Rugged Man we saw. Rugged Man was sat inside Sasha. I remember seeing Rugged, 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 Rugged Man. Rugged, Rugged Man was yeah, Sasha. People, they, he didn't look at what should they do. I'm around this guy. Yeah, I remember that. People, they... See, yeah. your bandanas, Routines. hypno clothing, all those... Hypno! <laughs> they all wear hypno. They all like a new black designer. And Sojo. Sojo. And Sojo. Sojo. No, no, no. It was it was fun times. And then, you know, Tribe, I now transitioned to doing Don't Stop, which was my first ever solo recording. I think I had like a number one for like eight weeks. Feeling on top of the world. I was still juggling music and school. School, so going to battle, coming back, come on. He showed in my final year because when he not gave me the extra, so you think you can be forming celebrity up around the place. How did Justice Cecilia feel about that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you see, you see, let me tell you the honest truth. That my dad didn't really know because he wasn't really paying attention to. He was busy doing his own thing. Wasn't paying attention music. <laughs> The one time my dad actually heard, ah, this was a big mistake. Somebody told me that oh, we were supposed to do, ah, Ray Power, AIT's third anniversary. That's a long time ago. Rock Force, this was even before Tribe, was supposed to dance on live TV. So me in my head, I'm saying, ha. They will see me for They will see me for hours. <laughs> so I told him, ah, daddy, I'm part of this thing, you know, they're going to do this thing, they're going to see me on live TV. He didn't say anything, he caught the phone. At that time, it was Nitel, you know those cards? Yeah. He now said, my brother now told me that he came home. He said, on the television, <laughs> your brother said he's going to be just here. If I see him on this TV today, <laughs> Guess what? What? They cancelled. Damn, just put yourself in trouble for nothing. Can you imagine? I'm, my man now started putting his eye on me. Uh, yeah. Do you have a show? I said, no, daddy, daddy. So final year. When I now failed, ah, come on. You tell me twice, so I sat down. All my friends stayed back, helped me study to graduate because it would have been a shame if I didn't graduate. So I graduated to Bachelor of Dental Surgery, University of Ibadan, did my housemanship in Luth, you get me? Then I said, okay, let's get back into music. Hmm. And then what? Well, so from then, so from solo then, was that was when, so while I was in school, I went to do an elective at uh, King's College London. Of dentistry, and I met the band. Don't just at that time, we're a tribe, we're a tribe now. You yeah, know, sit up the tribe, you know, I was big boy JJC for one escort. You know, uh, I met the band and on Jazzy at that point in time. That this was even before the JJC for one escort breakup and things like that. So when they came to Nigeria, it was like, ah, that's not going our guy. So we all linked up, we got together, helped them out with contacts and things like that. We became friends. So at this point in time, tribe had now. Splits up, LD gone to Yankee, Dell, everybody had gone down separate. So I was like, ah, I want the band out for this your movie. It's like this music thing. I like, people are doing, you know. I don't mind. I don't mind joining. You know. The band was like, okay. The band was like, okay. Jazzy don't want to sign anybody. But we'll go. <laughs> and I was like, take one, don't worry. So Jazzy went. <laughs> to come I can imagine the device saying this. You know, <laughs> 
That go that go say G. That go say G. That go say you go be where's that? Okay, where's that? You get away with Kajol jazz. You say you know say you don't see. You know say this 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 this. Exactly. The bottom of J. Cause that is no green. That's no jazz. You know not true. I don't lie. That's no green. You don't sign any artists. Like listen, I have the band. I have one. They call. Let me build these two first yeah, before, before I. Before any, yeah. The band just had this idea of. The squad. The squad. Yeah, okay, sorry, yeah. the prince was there as well. Like, uh, the squad, the screw. So he now agreed, okay, look at this. So I mean, I'm glad I mean, even be the full stop safe. There was nobody yeah. else that came in apart from family case, which the yeah. prince. That was it. I think I mean, yeah. I'm the, the only the, person the, that the really much yeah, was in exactly. family apart from Maniko that was signed to more hits, you know, and then we, we built a family and we all became friends. And it was, it was probably one of the most beautiful experiences. And because I've come from a background of the tribe, which was already, already, already kind of family music. crew oriented, it was like an easy transition. I, I say, when people ask me about record labels and my history, I say I, I've been lucky because I've always been in units, tribe, family, more hits, family, even family, you understand? And it's, I've never really had bad, a bad time with like studio sessions or the, the grind. My grind was different. I came to record labels where the producer had his own studio. The CEO of the record labels, the producer, is exactly. an artist, he knows his so stuff. You don't have to have books. Yeah. 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 Really, you know, Jazzy was a producer as well. So, he, sorry, he's a producer. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Well, you know, so I've been lucky in terms of the way that my career, my trajectory has, has gone. And it's, it's, it's been beautiful, man. So many questions. I don't know what's Hit me. I'm ready for you. <laughs> what do you do? What's the name of the show? Okay, the whole truth. The whole truth. I'll tell you the whole truth. Okay. So, um, are yours, first of all, are y'all still friends? Like this? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the honest answer would be I don't have any animosity towards anybody. I don't think, I, as far as I know, I'm not fighting with anybody. I am cordial with almost everybody that we've ever worked with. I mean, there's no animosity. We see each other, we greet, we still Jesus, that We're not exactly uh, going to be sitting down having tea or coffee yeah. or going out yeah, to drink. Death, but yeah. it's, you know, I think people grow apart and it's cool. But we, we literally have a mutual respect for each other. And it's, so it was tough for a while. How did you guys get past that phase, that whole I, tape phase? I, to be honest, I when Mohis broke up, I was very angry for a long time and I'm a very emotional person so a lot of my reactions kind of got misinterpreted because of my emotion I was very angry about a lot of things um, I think there was a some conversation about people going on and on about the split and talking about Jazzy and this and that yeah. and, you know because Jazzy was quiet and so never really said yeah, anything so I stuck was. over and I said I'm sorry you know this man does so much but, yeah. and is not respected because he doesn't blow his own trumpet. I don't disrespect Jazzy because it was, you know, it's easy to look at Mohis and see the band and think he's, you know, he, he's, yeah. he, I mean, he's a larger than life character. You have to give him that. His charisma, his energy is amazing. But Jazzy is just the guy that is yeah, whispering, whispering, yeah, doesn't, you know, <laughs> but he's the real, he's the bad, he, everything is him. You feel me? And he will never say it. He will never take credit. He's not a me. I will blow your trumpet. To be honest, this whole country will blow his trumpet. He wrote. He, he wrote. He produced. He mixed. He mastered live sessions. He armor, please. The man don't try. Yeah. You feel me? So I was very, and I'm very protective of him. We we grew. Even though the band was my entry into yeah. into more hits, Jazzy and I became yeah. very, 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 very close. Like literally five and six we inseparable you know if i'm crashing i'm crashing on the floor in his room or it's, you know we're just in the studio together when he wakes up you know that was the you know, had the routine play video me and there they play video game we play video game die even to today <clears throat> i swear so you know that that's i'm very very protective of him it's so funny some people might see me outside even till today i act like his bodyguard if you, if you want to take a picture of namigo they say you know uh, calm down you know you know but i'm like yeah, he got a bodyguard for that right? <laughs> <laughs> you know it's just it's just who i am and i get very emotional about the people that i care about so the split was very it was very hard for me because especially after you know that was said sorry the band I like calling that boy, my yeah guy. it's fine my guy said i, I was everybody understand i was responsible because of the tape? For the split. The tape is another 
entirely did, different do story. Do you guys know like where about leaked? Like, did you ever, I have my suspicions. Okay. I have my suspicions. I don't want to name drop. How did you We're get over? Cool now. What we're we want to do is, cool now, I see. We, you find out in life that you see. When, at those point, at that point in time, I think everybody was young and stupid, and excited. Now we're we're much older. And you look at it and be like, whatever, you know. But it was a it was a conversation taken out of context. Me and my guys, like the more me guys, and guys have, yes. in a room having a heated conversation. Yeah, yeah. Somebody feeling very sly with himself. We started recording. Reco started recording the conversation, and. I keep, I've said this thing so many times with our number, and a lot of people, so till today, some people still think that it's my fault, that I'm hateful and whatever. I specifically said in that conversation, why don't they know my name? Why don't they know my name? Your star is too big that it overshadows effortlessly. Yeah. Effortlessly is the key qualifier in that statement, meaning it's not your fault. There's absolutely nothing, nothing you can do about yeah. it. It is just who you are. The band walks into a room, he's going to suck like the air out of it. It's, it's, not, it's normal. It's normal. It's nothing. You, you can't beef. You can't be angry. You can't whatever. But because it was so heated and it sounded so passionate, when they edited, they just removed the effort lessons. So when you hear it, it just sounds like I'm... And when I heard it, I was like, yo, this guy's a fucking hater. hater. I swear <laughs> to God. Hater alert. You know, but then it, it just shows me... It showed me the wickedness of men. Because somebody took that recording, sent it to these people, and then they all. So the person purposely trying to like sabotage. The purposely, yeah. The purposely purposely took, um, took to, to me. No, yeah, no. This was this was even after the breakup. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, the yeah. person took the conversation, sent it to the band and his team. Somebody in that team collided with a bunch of people and now leaked no, it to the press out. on purpose, and they said it was supposed to be a joke. I'm like, how can you? do something that's gonna defame somebody's character and, and say call it a joke, yeah. call it a joke. well we let that one go I they told me not to say anything so i kept quiet about it how did you deal with people knowing with knowing that people had heard that tape it was, pa it was painful because it, it made me understand how fickle and i'm sorry to disrespect a lot of people but shallow-minded a lot of people are because you heard something you didn't even try to understand the context i mean i get it the way it sounds is very decent but you know look at me and the trajectory and the kind of person that i've been over the years is this something that you should ask yourself how about come on now maybe there's something we don't know but you know people took it verbatim and they blasted me and i think it, it affected my career a lot to be honest because everything i put out after that was met with a lot so of backlash, negativity yeah, and yeah. backlash and it was very difficult to make music and it affected my career, it affected my earnings and some people still think, people that did it at that point in time don't think they should apologize. God bless you. You feel me? It did, literally, I'm not going to lie, that is probably the turning point of the negative aspect of my career. <clears throat> so now this is 2012? I think so. Yeah, about 2012. 2012. 2012. Yeah, 2012. Yeah, um, so now this is 2012. CVR, uh, Mavens, we start Maven, all the Dr. Sid songs, negativity. I come out with Lady Don Dada, Love My, Talented. Dada. They're all jams, but nobody. Fuck is. you, fuck boy. You destroyed more hits. You had the this, <laughs> you had the that. God damn. You know, so every single thing that I did, no wonder your father died. Oh my God. God. That was when I deleted that was deep, man. and followed everyone. Okay, well, yeah, there was a time you followed everybody. Yeah, because yeah. I just said to myself, I said, this is ridiculous now. You understand? You know, this is ridiculous. Like, where do you, where do you draw the line? Social media, you just think because I can't see you, I can't you come can't, to your yeah. house. You can just chat whatever you want to chat. I know, it was, it was that, ah, I'm all, what did your father's death do to you as an artist? It 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 it, it, it really affected me. I don't, it, I'm sorry. It fucked with me on a different level. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm the whole truth. I'm gonna That's speak fine. my mind. That's fine. You feel me? It it did it because we had a very strange relationship. My dad is a perfectionist, and he's he believes in academia. You know, I mean, I studied dental surgery. My older brother is a chartered, is a, is a, was studied banking and finance. My younger brother is a geologist. My younger sister did business and law. So my dad is very heavy on education and 
you know, trust me. Even though trust it, me, I, can, I can relate. Him that's an actor, don't mind him. Or My dad not, is a street hustler. He not think that one that. of us was gonna <laughs> enter this thing, but he was just. I can relate. So man. you know, the first few years, for a long time, when he found out I was into music, he literally kicked me out of the house and said, "You know, get out." do whatever, but I made it a point of duty to build my brand and my, my name and my status without using his name. So a lot of people didn't know that. We only name. found yeah, out later when we yeah, were yeah. already yeah, built. Yeah, so yes. I did that because I wanted, to, I wanted him to respect me. And this is, I'm talking, this is like 2006, 2004, when he kicked me out though. This is 2013, just before he died. He's, we now started getting really close and he, he's, Damn. my name started ringing amongst his fears. I mean, we talked, but it wasn't a, the respect yeah. wasn't there. Like we would talk, like he's my dad. I can't not yeah, talk yeah. to him, you feel me? But at that point in time, we're now getting to a point where, I mean, we had just done Teju Babyface show. That's the only interview my father and I had ever done. In fact, I need to ask Teju Babyface for, for that. Call, That's the only ever interview my father and I had ever done together. We did a magazine cover for some urban something. Yeah, yeah, I think I, think I saw that. You know, just like, do that. We had just started yeah, doing things together, yeah. like this father and son duo, two generations of entertainment. You know, it was all finally coming together. Like, you know, the respect that you wanted from this man, he's giving it to yeah. you. You know, people used to badmouth me to him and he would agree. Now he was like, you know what, this person I've seen said it, this. Yeah. But don't worry, they don't understand where you're going to. What do you need to get this music to the next level? How can I help? Oh, I know this person. We can go to Delta States. We can talk to these guys. We can do this. We were planning together. He was shooting a series. He would come to me. He would come, come to my house to chill. Do you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like big deal. You know, again? and then in a month or two, he died. And I'm like, yeah, no, I was fucked up. wow. And then you just realize all the things that you want to say that you can't. Like, that is a, people who still have their parents, you can't understand. Like, just being able to say, I love you. It's okay, what up? It's tough. Man. Oh yeah. Ah. Woo. You want to tell us about your ink? Your yeah. Ah. Uh, thank you. That's a good change of pace. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. Yeah. So um. Fine. Can you, can, are we can, can, can we you see that? <clears throat> so this um some doctor like thing. Doctor dental. Yeah. The, so basically the, the mic uh, inside. Like yeah, yeah. From in the inside for medicine. Your scorpius. I mean, it's not as clepius. You will Google and type I'm on that driver. Yeah. Yeah, and then I put a microphone to signify music and because those are two significant parts of my existence, being a qualified dental surgeon and being a musician and an entertainer, Dr. Sid. And it just I had I got this. This is the first and only tattoo I have. I'm gonna get a bit more. To remind myself who I am and what I have been through to get here at this particular point in time. Because sometimes you get caught up in the fact that you're a celebrity and you forget that, look, oh boy, you go to school, oh. there's some things you still have to do on that end and there's a particular way you need to carry yourself to express the fact that you are educated and you need to let people know that not everyone in the entertainment, like people in the entertainment, even if you don't have a formal education, they are smart, intelligent yeah. people and deserve respect. Because a lot of people look down on people in the entertainment industry. I got these locks on my head for a particular reason because I want to change the narrative. When you look at me and you see locks on my head, you can't tell me that I'm a rascal. I dare you, say it. Because you're a mother effing doctor. You get me, lad. You feel me? Are you going back to that? I'm, 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 I'm not going to practice, but I do intend at some point to, to open a clinic. And I really want to try and open a clinic that would allow the regular average Nigerian to get access to proper dental care without going to a teaching hospital. Because most of the Private hospitals are just too expensive for the average guy. All right. I see you doing freestyles while you're working on somebody's two times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. nah, okay. fam. Nah, fam. Dentistry, I have a love hate relationship with that. I have a question. I have two questions I can't relate to. At first, I was going to ask how your kids like your music, but then I realized I also want to know 
there's a there's a there's a belief that when an artist single fine boy bad guy yeah. you get married yeah. you lose some of your fan base because now you're no more a single guy mm -hmm. so how it does happen so what happens it to does you happen I, I think i think i think i did i had a dip i had a dip but i also had an increase because it, it balances out one way or another you have a lot of people who your their attraction to you <coughs> their fellowship of you is because you're desirable and there's an aspiration that one day you can be theirs some of those people will They'll disengage. Oh God! All hope is lost. It's <laughs> all over. Um, they'll disengage, but you also have a new fan base that joins you because you're mature. respected. They think you're you're mature. Mature. Yeah. You've done something that is that impresses them. You know, so it's 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 a nice it's a nice balance. I mean, work life balance, being married and entertainment is difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Shout out to everyone who's married. That is in the entertainment business. Business. The, the if it's the man who's in the team the women have to I mean either one of the spouses the opposing one really has to deal with a lot of unstructured behavior as, <laughs> as I like to call it because yeah. it's different when you have a nine to five you to you come up at a specific time you have interviews you have a tour you have shows you have you know it's not healthy and it takes a strong person to how do you live? How do you live the life of a celebrity and then go home and prove that you're not messing around outside? I've always wondered about. I that. don't think you have to prove anything. You don't have been suspected. I don't, uh, man. I've never been confronted of suspicion. Mm -hmm. I think uh, my wife has a certain level of trust and understanding. I think trust goes both ways. You feel me? I'm, yep. I'm away. What do you they do? I don't know. You do. But there's a. There's a level of trust that comes with that, that I think we've, we've, we've had that conversation and said, this is what we're doing, let's stick to it. It's, besides, I don't knock, my brother, I've had a very, good very, time. see, I think, I've had a really good time. I'm, I'm a very Before sexual. Before you got married. Yeah, I'm a very sexual being. I, I enjoy my sexual activity. And okay, I've well, okay. really experimented and I've done, it takes a, it would take a lot for you to even ginger me on a different level, so, you know. That's why he said, um, what's that line of what do you call? Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of booty call and speaking of that era, yeah. more hits, concerts, anytime. So yes, that's yeah, great. Did you guys discuss it sometimes? I'd be like, man. This, well, I think it's the something thing, be, The thing wild, is, to be man. honest, I think... <sighs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the best diplomatic way to put this. It doesn't sound <laughs> like I mean, we do. It would be nice. I really want it to happen. You feel me? But I think everybody's at a space right now where we're very brand aware and understand the gravity of a more hit reunion concert. Yeah, in a stadium. You feel me? And I don't stadium. think it's going to be a very expensive venture. Yeah. You feel me? And I think a lot of people are thinking, I can bring Rihanna for that amount. Why would I get, yeah. you know, bother? So I think, you know, when somebody realizes what it is, I can guarantee you that every single one of us is will be happy to do it. But it has to be right. I think we've we put in so much as Mo hits that even after the breakup, I think if we're coming back together, it needs to be done right and on the right scale yeah. aside from artists you're also like on the board like you're also so i'm vice president of maven records yeah. okay oh, so yeah. what's happening with maven my biggest question about maven is whatever happened to this guy just disappeared crazy and then Bro, didn't just disappear, you know? so you know i think one thing we have to understand is that we are musicians and we're celebrities and things like that but we're also human and popularity takes its toll on you i think Corey DeBello had a very busy, his, the beginning of his career was, was busy, was it, was, yeah. it was a lot, he was busy every week, every weekend, he, he literally almost burnt out, he gets, so he had to take a chill, take a chill, I mean, Corey DeBello is a very talented individual, take a take chill, chill, you know, then, you know, I think he's released two songs this year. You feel okay, me? Yeah. Take a chill, come back, you know, revamp yourself, get your energy back up. Sometimes you lose the passion. I mean, I'm not saying that's what's happened to him. But me personally, I've lost the passion for music 
on numerous occasions. Like, I'm not interested. I don't care about making music right now. I just want to be. I want to play video games. I want to shoot a film. I want to act. You know, the, we, we have the people, we go through cycles. So I think Koyde right now is going through a cycle. He's working on music. When he feels he has the right project to put out, he'll put it out. I don't think he should be rushed or stressed about it. Cody Bell is a very talented individual. He ain't going nowhere, trust me. He okay, right. That's he's he's going to be awesome. So what about you? All those times where you had lost the passion, was there a, were there times of too much low? I hope you, you haven't suffered any... I mean, any... I've, had, I've had lows. I've had depressions. I've had suicidal thoughts. I've had... I ain't kidding. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> had them. Yeah. Anyway, if everybody's going to be honest with yourself and tell yourself the whole thing, there's just sometimes where you just think, fuck this shit, man. Not it's really not worth it. You're not top life ambassador, so yes, you know. Okay, I, so I yeah, mean, I've, I've gone, to, I've gone through various, that. various bouts of depressions. You know, some. I mean, I've had dips in my career where I've been super broke, like broke with BC. Even, even after, 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 even after everybody, even after all the hits and everything. Yeah, that one we we know that happens. It happens to everyone. It happens, it happens to, to the everyone. I, I I don't listen. I'm all. I was going to tell you last year. I had a near death experience. We just cleared my eye to the fickleness of this world and how um, everything that you feel matters. In a second. Gone. My dad died. No question a legend. Sure. An entire generation has no idea who he is. Yeah, true. The generation who knows who he is, about to go. Ah, uh, stop. I still here now. What do you mean? Mm, you go. Why did you do? You go. And maybe now. He's not going to be on the lips of your yeah. tongue unless you see something that. Just, <laughs> yes. That just to be fair, I haven't, I haven't said the words just to the series. Oh, to, to, yeah, to, yeah, to, I'm to, saying, sorry. Yeah, true. You do remember as everybody go come chop puff puff and small chops and bounce. Gone. What was the near death experience? I um so I had uh, I had no idea. I had something called a transient ischemic attack. A guinea what? A TI, transient ischemic attack. Doctors hate In this English. terminology. It's a mild stroke. Okay. Wow. So, I used to smoke a lot. I don't know if you saw me. I posted a few weeks ago that I... Yeah, yeah, that you, yeah. After one year. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, so, so, I used to smoke a lot. Um, but I didn't understand. And I used to drink as well. So, I cut down on drinking. I was trying to lose weight. Quit smoking. But little did I know that those things were helping me to cope with the stress that I was going through mentally and my blood pressure literally shot up after I did that. So coupled with the, some stresses I was going through at a particular point in time, my blood pressure hit like 190 over 120. Now mind you, 158 is a medical emergency. That is if you have to... <laughs> I was 190, and I didn't even know when it happened. Like, I was literally, I just felt numbness on my face, you know, size. I was like, <laughs> maybe I didn't sleep well. You understand? 24 hours, like three days, it was it was gone. I went to see my brother, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to check my blood pressure. Do you want to come? I said, yeah. I'm the doctor said, yeah. Sorry, sir, how are, are you? you? Is everything okay? How are you walking? Because this, this, <laughs> this reading we're getting, you're supposed to be dead. Wow. So they literally had to crash my blood pressure at that point in time. And then they now asked me some questions. And I was like, oh, yeah, I had this. this is like, sir, you had a mild stroke and you didn't even know. Yeah. Oh. So at that point in time, I now just see, you just put certain things into perspective. My wife is pregnant. I'm expecting number two. I get three, four year old Peking, three year old Peking, as in, if I die now, I'm gone. Literally. Gone. Oh my God, Doctor C, it's so Larry. Oh, 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 next thing. Oh my God, it's Latan. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that guy. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. What a nice way to put you it. You know, and then you just realize what's important. I don't really care about Instagram followers. It used to give me anxiety. Guy, there's a point in time I was celebrating. 645, 646, 647, 650, wow. 651, 6, 655. Next thing, 654, yeah, 653, right. 652. It went down to 640. 15,000 people unfollowed me in the space of like three months. I don't know whether I was doing cleaning out accounts or whatever, but it just, you just anxiety. 
oh, I posted this picture, only 10 likes, 20 comments. Damn. If I post song, nobody will listen to you. If I post my picking, 10,000 likes. So if people are here, yeah. you get. If I post my new artwork, you will not okay. like it. If I post my child, who are? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> but when I post the thing that is that I'm here for, people now start. See, it started giving. The thing me, where they give you money, man. They keep that picking. That picking, you know. Man, that's, that's, that's the way life functions now. It started man. giving me. Who are likes it started giving me stress and anxiety, and I'm just like. Yo, I'm still wrapping my head around the fact that you almost died. Oh, you, dude, you see, when you now put things in perspective, you now realize that all these things I'm stressing myself about Instagram for. Like, listen, I'm saying right now, if you want to follow me, follow me. If you don't want to follow me, bye bye. So I don't care if I have two likes. Those two people love you guys. You feel me? We are covered by the blood of Jesus. Yeah, man. <laughs> you, you feel know? me? So then I just, you know, I just took a step back and I was like, listen, I need to. Chill, chill. Yeah, re strategize, we re rethink this thing that we the things that we value, yeah, in life. And I just changed a lot of my friends, changed the way that I go out. You hardly see me, I don't go out. I just realized that you know, you go out, it's the same, don't matter, Baba, alpha, 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 anything for the boys, anything for the boys. That stuff irritates me. I'm sorry. You're on social media. Hi guys, what's up? Baba, anything for us today? Any giveaway? Account number. <laughs> Account number, you know. And then you're under pressure because your mind is telling you that if you don't give this guy money, he thinks you're broke. Are, yes. Or he thinks you're stingy. Or this is it. I got two kids to feed. I, got, I, I don't owe you nothing. True. So why am I getting... Flack for... Anxiety yeah. or stress because yeah. I can't... No giveaway. You understand? You know, if I have, why not? In excess. I'm sorry, like I use that word in excess, and excess is relative these days because you feel me, life is not a, a joke. So uh, that one, it just changed the way I see things. And I'm now, I'm a bit more focused. I think uh, the things that are important to me, the things that I know that are going to be part of my legacy, which to be honest, my children, those are the only things that, that's what I live for. My life is good. My children are what I live for. And that's, those are the only things, those are the only two things that I, um, that's, why, that's why I'm alive. That's what I'm doing. Every business venture I get involved in, every idea, every show that I'm getting booked for, every show that I'm not getting booked for, <laughs> is all about my kids. Yeah, and being be. able to take care of those two beautiful girls because they didn't ask to be here. It's my job to take care of them and that's what I'm focused on. So if you're not booking Dr. Sid, understand. <laughs> okay. uh, 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 I was good to ask. <laughs> I could do music actively now, or like yeah, into some other venture. So, um, I'm. I've decided that I one of the mistakes that I was making, which was affecting my creativity, was I was trying to make music from a position of necessity. I need a hit song because if I don't get a hit song. And for God's and other stuff I'm not going to eat yeah. or I'm not going to be able to do a show or stuff like that. And then I realized that, I mean, this is not to brag or anything. I have genius level like you. You feel me? Uh, and I'm like, I have... You're not Sid, you're Dr. Sid. You know, know. I have a plethora of ideas and concepts that with the right, given the right time, nurture and planning and structure, a billion dollar ideas so why am i not chasing down those ideas so i literally drew up a, a plan for next four or five years and projects that i want to achieve the first one i'm working on now is esports and gaming because i'm an avid gamer i'm passionate about it i believe doing whatever you do you must be passionate about it if not sure. it's, gonna, it's gonna feel like work yep i'm passionate about gaming and esports i stream on twitch i have so many things that i do with gaming so i was like okay fine Esports doesn't exist in Nigeria. Let's find out. Let's build the ecosystem. Met up with the guys, the stakeholders in the in the in the, in the industry. We came together, formed an association, Esports Nigeria. I'm the vice president. I have an esports team and an esports company called Citizens Gaming. I've signed 30 players across the world playing different games: Fortnite, FIFA, Call of Duty, NBA 2K, PUBG. Oh, yeah, they play all those in the in Nigerian internet. Yeah, I mean they do. They, they do. They do. I mean, so th those are the little things we're trying to work over time. Infrastructure, yeah, internet, yeah, data wars. Thing, yeah. We're begging people to put servers in Africa so that people can have better gaming experiences. But that being said, 
the infrastructure doesn't exist, but we're going to push on and create a viable ecosystem. So when this, we're going to create a value value uh, proposition for people to come and invest in esports and gaming. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm building a few platforms for entertainment, which I can't elaborate on. But yeah, I can't tell you the whole truth about that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But Definitely. yeah, they're, they're, they're brilliant at their ideas. Plus, I'm, a, I'm more on the, mar on the marketing and ARR side of Maven Records, which helps me to at least be part of the creative process and the business side of Maven that goes on with the other artists. So, so all this new, so this newfound clarity, yeah, and this uh, emancipation from making music out of necessity. Yeah. Are you now? You sound like you're channeling all that energy into these new ventures are you yeah. are you is there any of it that is still going to artists oh yeah like right now i have a five track ep that's done okay we're going to release it in 2020. have you named it <laughs> for now the working title is the interesting ep i like that simple yeah not bad is, yeah. That, is this the first time you're talking about it yeah you okay. edit tfs too <laughs> actually <laughs> wow Exclusive, this guy, you have to be able to bring you something out or something. Exclusive, mind. exclusive. <laughs> wait yeah, till you so, see me so, talking to so wait, what would you The interesting EP, it's got five songs which I think I like. I've got a few, or one or two artists that I would like to introduce on that project as well. Also, like, I think four four different producers on five songs. And it's it's perfect, that's what we like it these days. Just give us different, five. It's different, different yeah. vibes. Uh, to also show my range because I think you can't pick the consider as one specific type of artist. Yeah. If you listen to my career, my music is a. There's I don't think Nigerians know how hard you can go with the bars. No, because you can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, because let me tell you honestly, though, I, I didn't think I was that good of a rapper. I, I was intimidated by a lot of the people that came out. Especially when MI came out. MI intimidated me. I said, no, that's how far with this singing thing. I'm going to just. <laughs> man, just you, every time I see you, girl, see you, girl, <laughs> you doing everything that I like. See, that Tente was the first time I sang. That was the first time I sang man. on the track. But then I did half sing, half rap. Yeah. Then, you know, something about you was just. But we see, if you notice, I always get them two verse singing, one verse rap. But then I'm like, I'm working for Mola. I feel like I'm flying, flying some doo doo. Forget. <laughs> You're working for Mola. Okay, so. Prince for your so Rema, the Prince, don't just so, so the, the Prince right now. One person <laughs> interested in the Prince is we've been saying since that oh this guy has he has he has had a lot of hits and it seems that we forget. Now you've come here, you said that he's way more talented than we know. No, 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 no. So now I think I think him. the Prince is was is actually one of the most underrated artists or misunderstood artists in Nigerian music history. I feel like his, I, his, his delivery, his right, his writing. You know, writing. Like when, you know Lamba. As, as a music critic and all this music, you're, you're like, this guy is whack, this guy is whack. But the Prince was someone I think, collectively, we made a, we made a big mistake on. Because the guy had, he gave us music, music. gave us what he wanted. And everybody but was bumping to it. So. But somehow yeah. we still judge So sometimes, this is what, what I find out. Eh? A lot of the times, critics weren't objective. In their, in, their, in their job. It was a very subjective thing. Right? You don't like his hair, you don't like the way he looks. It affected the way you listened and, to and the music created, you created the music. Because sometimes, personality-wise, you we suck. You know what I'm saying? But you can't take that away from the, the body of work that you that you put out. You get me? And you know, sometimes you can't blame because we're all human. So it's not a computer that will just hear the chords and say, okay, I'll this say, is perfect. Yeah. Things affect your decision. You might have seen it somewhere. You didn't say hi, or he, he was rude to someone. <laughs> and when you, I beg, you know, me, I've judged people like that. It happens. You feel me? But I, like I said, I, I really don't. Me and Prince have had a love hate relationship throughout. Uh, at the point in time, I think we really hated each other. I wanted to kill each other. But there's always been mutual respect. You get because that guy. <sighs> as I'm saying this thing, it's not a joke. Oh, and you can see it in Rema. Prince put a lot of time and effort into teaching him, passing on the experience that he had from the music industry. That was gold, man. That was gold. Rema is one of the most complete artists I've ever seen in that my was life. Gold, and so that's what's probably serving good serve as proof now yeah. to what the Prince No, you can tell because Prince, Prince saw one freestyle. And knew. And knew. I'll give you an example. The Prince was responsible for Altims being part of Maven. Ultimate did a remix yeah, to yeah. Take Banana. Prince heard it. Yo, Jazzy, there's one guy. He said, ah. Prince was one who brought Kama to Mohits, who ended up managing David Doe and Shay Shay. Yeah, Prince, Kama, is, he, yeah, Prince is responsible for a lot of the 
major people that have been involved in Mohit and, and, yeah. and Maven. He's no, no, no. His ear and his eye for talent is unparalleled. I heard that before Rema was released, was brought out that if S don't, you don't cook out for like one year now. The boy, the boy understudied. He was around. He was in the studio. Prince sat him down to conversations, took him to events. Understand this? How he moves? But you see, and the, that can only work if the person, like Rema in himself, has. A gift, his assimilation, his understanding of the world and who he is is out of this world. I, I'm, I'm, I'm scared for what that boy can do. Like, I'm, and I'm excited as well to see it. And I'm, and I give Prince a shout out because that's that's when you see someone discover talent. Yeah. That's a true story, a beautiful story mind. right there. I can't wait for the documentary. Not just big one corner was that anything. Not try to big you guys up or but it seems like Maven and like yo, like when. Artists leave and come back or leave or whatever. Mm. There's always no hassle. But like if you feel like you're yeah, running like, they're they're chilled out from like yeah, you're yeah, yeah. Bell, so kind of. I, I said I was I was on a panel earlier on today and I was discussing about how the ethos and the work ethic. I beg, I beg, I beg. When you do speak, please you <laughs> come down to the world. Don't, don't come. I beg. The what? The belief system. Fantastic. Of a, of an organization stems down from the founder. The way Jazzy operates and the way his mindset is, Jazzy is not a stingy person, neither is he wicked. As a matter of fact, our first set of contracts in Maven Records was, when you want to leave, just let me know. Wow. You, get, you can take your, your material. It wasn't, it was not, the lawyers were looking at him and saying, are you crazy? He's like, I don't want anyone to feel that I enslaved you, you feel me? When Juan De Cole said he wanted to start Black Diamond Records, Jazzy was all for it. I, I will help you, I'll support you if you check the room. When we said, uh, here comes the WC, original Black Diamond, that was supposed to be an introduction. The kick. Between, in the kick, yeah, yeah. That was supposed to be an introduction to, into Black Diamond Records. I don't have any problem with you. The Prince has his Jones in World Records that is an imprint to, yeah. to Maven, because yeah. I'm assigned. Oh, General signed to yeah. Jones in Records yeah. via, uh, to Maven Records via right. Jones, in, yeah. Jones in World. You feel me? So Jazzy has always been a we're family. I'm not tying you down. Listen, it's okay. Our, we have our revenue share. As far as you do your part, I'll do my part. Everybody live harmoniously. Why do we need to fight? Because we've, Jazzy has been through Solar Crew, JGC 419 Squad, more hits. Yeah, legend of legend for real. I that's don't got time. If you, see, if you want to have animosity or beef towards me, that's yeah. totally on you. Anyone who leaves, uh, Jazz is knowing anybody money. Anybody who leaves and says, you did your church on fairly, I used to handle digital distribution for Maven Records. Come and see me, I'll tell you how much you made. Can you even put this thing back on the streaming platform? What? WC is that one. It's not any streaming platform. What what album? The, what's the name of one of the albums? Mushin to Mois. Well, that's one you know. Yeah, but it's, it's, it wasn't that's up to him. Was, was it, is it up to him or up to like Mushin to Mois was a Mois project? So it's still like Mois. So I, we have no. Okay. Maven has no. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not saying in, true. In so it's between him and the Mois. Him and his no. Mo, Jazzy owns, owns Mois. So, so that's what I'm saying. It's between him and. I don't know what happened. I, I I really don't know why it's not on on streaming platforms. And nobody's told me about it. No. It's not. When Don Jazzy comes, we'll ask him. Shout out to Don Jazzy. Yeah, Don Jazzy has no hand in, in hand in why it's not on on streaming platforms. Don Jazzy doesn't because his business with streaming platform. When I see Don Jazzy, I just need to know how he made Tongolo. You don't understand that beat is impossible. You can't that underline you how? I'll tell you a story. How do you make I'll, something? I'll tell you a story like that? that I can tell you one beat that he made. Please allow well for it. Um close to you. So I was dun, 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 I was dun, 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 in his room, he was sleeping. I think I was playing FIFA or something. And he was sleeping, and he was sleeping, and on his hand was on the pillow, like this, and he was doing. And then he woke up, as I said, no go studio. Entered the studio and played the beat from beginning to end in like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> See, that was one moment when yeah, like, you, you witness greatness. pure magic. Because I shit you not, 
I literally saw this guy asleep. I was watching his hand. Me, in fact, it was me and my brother Andrew. We we're there and we we're laughing. This is this one. This one. In that it is for dream. Yeah, it is. In that beat for dream. And he literally woke up, went in, and did it. Doom, doom. He went in, took the drums into the into the into the studio, and I boom, boom. Hell. Tum 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 tum. Nah. Hey God. I'm like, in the zone, yo. Man. And you see, till today, like I was saying, there are certain songs that I will perform that I know. I don't care who you are, where you were born. I'm gonna start to work out too. You move. Yeah. <laughs> Close to you. Over the moon. Sule. Sule. Kabiesi. Pop Champagne. You see these five songs? They could see the essential you go see. to. If I know that the show is, do I say, bless it? They know they feel this one. Turn it Just turn it See, and close to you, that song, it moves you. It's, it's, it's timeless. You know, music has slowed down. Mm -hmm. But when you hear that, and then your voice, your verse, wish I make, wish I might. Oh, man, they're speaking in his eyes. No, um, I, I've, I think I've been, I've been, I've, I've been very fulfilled. I've been very lucky. I've been very blessed, and that is the whole truth. Um, the music I've put out, you know, might not be as big. Some of the songs I put up might not be as big. Some of the songs I put up might have appeared to be flops, commercially or views-wise or numbers-wise. But I have put up. See, everybody has that. I kind of like that you're admitting it. So, like, artists know that. See, yeah. it's okay. Be like, no, it's yeah, okay. Our greatest put out. An it's album okay. Album. Like, it's not a matter of life and death, man. Great music. It's not a matter of life and death. And I know for a fact. Like, I used to be worried. Like, I, I, I'll tell you guys, I was the day I went to Jersey and I was crying. And I said to him, I said, what am I leaving behind? Like, if I die now and you look at Dr. C's music career, I don't have record label. I did not sign any artist. I did not do, I, what, what, what have I legacy? done? What is my legacy? Is it just Don Jazzy's guy? Or Don, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is... What's my story? Like timeless music this, is your legacy. This stuff scared the shit out. Like when you say, you're like, fuck. At least that's you. They go talk say you we do this, you do, do yeah. this, you do that. You know, you do, ah, when they go, they go talk say you, say, you know, I started making up people yeah, like, for scenarios of people. But why do you do pop champagne? Or? Why do you do so hilarious? Yeah, so hey, what see you with a fear, my guy? Yeah, West music. Anybody who knows you knows that. That's that, 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 sweet talk me that day. <laughs> you say, guy, think about it now. Throughout movies, every time when they start show, who they go first? Because I know they're the only person that can raise the <laughs> as I get out. Let them watch me. Let them watch me. Let them watch me. You know, but then again, then I know there's this video of this show I did in Uniben. And then and then there's, there's a video for a song when the song comes on. It's a like a collection of a lot of my performances. And then you played it and it was like, hey, that's you. On stage is your happy place. Yeah. If you check it, nobody in this music industry till today has a catalogue of songs that you have can hold down a show like you do. Forget about whether they are pop you have popular songs or not. If they give you an opportunity on any stage, you will kill it. So that is your legacy. That is what you've left behind. And take that from now. Anything you add on after is bonus. But you are the son of Justice History. You're you are a music legend on your own right. Chapter closed. And that's your truth. That's the whole truth, actually. Chapter closed, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. C, ladies and gentlemen. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Dr. Sid and I subscribe to Accelerate TV and you should too. So don't do, press the red button, it's somewhere in this screen, somewhere here. Just press it and subscribe.